What's going on? You're watching NFL Daily by Chat Sports. We're doing a free agency Q&A. Make sure you got those notifications turned on so you don't miss the show. Do the Saints make a play for Prince Amukamara? I think Prince Amukamara would be a good fit in that defense. However, when it comes to the Saints, I think they really need to figure out what they need in terms of uh, quarterback play. Are they going to hang on to Taysom Hill? How much you're going to pay Taysom Hill? And they don't really have a lot of money. If I'm the Saints, I am going to get extra wide receivers for Drew Brees, for Michael Thomas, because it is a one-man band. And if they want to win football games, believe it or not, I do think they need to add more talent at wide receiver. Let's go to my man, Winston Shan. Winston, Winston, I will find you. Um, <laughs> Stephon Diggs was seen wearing a Cardinal shirt on his Instagram Live. Could this mean that he could possibly be traded during free agency? If it was probably any other player, I would say maybe this is kind of, you know, a big deal. But Stephon Diggs is the king of trying to get people riled up on what he does on social media. Now, I will say the Cardinals have been looking at a wide receiver. There is some interest there. Would I hate Stephon Diggs going to the Cardinals? No, I think it would be a good fit. But I think best case for him, he stays with Minnesota. Let's go to the Popos. What up, my man? Is Byron Jones going to be the highest paid corner? I'm going to say for this year, yes. It will not last long because I anticipate Jalen Ramsey to absolutely crush it in 2021. But I think Byron Jones deserves to be the top paid cornerback in the NFL. I mean, that's just kind of how it works. Plus, NFL salaries, they go up every single year. And sure, he doesn't force turnovers, but he doesn't also let people get open. I think that's also pretty important. Let's go to Vigenzo Peoples. What up, Vigenzo? I'm going to grab my uh, water, a.k.a. vodka. Do you think Corey Littleton is a good fit for the Raiders defense. I would tell you two things. First, yes. Second, go check out my Raiders channel, youtube.com slash Raidersport. I put out seven linebackers that the Raiders could go out and target to help replace the here Whitehead. Corey Littleton is 100% on that list. I won't tell you where I ranked him because I want you to go check out the video, but uh, it came out, what, like two, three hours ago if you're watching this live. Let's go to a guy that needs to get a picture. Nicholas, it's sad. Should the Chiefs sign Dez Bryant? It's intriguing. I think the, the only teams that Dez is going to end up going back to, maybe the Cowboys. However, I don't really see him being a fit there. Maybe if Amari goes on, maybe, you know, whatever. But I'll say this, man. The Chiefs, no, actually, I'm not even going to say that. Dez, he'd be pretty lucky to end up signing with the Chiefs, throwing with my man Patrick Mahomes. I mean, that's all I'm saying. And if you guys want to rep a Patrick Mahomes shirt or any St. Paddy's Day shirt, because the coming, it's coming right up, okay? Chatsports.com slash NFL Green. But remember to use promo code 24SHIP, because then you're going to get some free shipping. So all these shirts, they're under $30, plus the free shipping using 24SHIP. Don't be the guy going into Party City. Don't be the guy going into Walmart, scrambling, half drunk because you had to Uber there because you don't have a shirt. Not saying any names. Go get your NFL team. Wrap them even during on St. Paddy's Day. Chatsports.com slash NFL Green. It's going to my man Jason Douglas who uh, probably needs to hit the gym harder if you know what I'm saying. Who will the Pats target? Tom Brady. <laughs> like, I think the Patriots, they have three focuses. One, Tom Brady. Two, adding talent around Tom Brady at wide receiver. And then three, adding talent around Tom Brady at tight end. Because their wide receiver core is led by Nikhil Harry. Yes, Julian Edelman is still in the slot. I mean, Muhammad Sanu, that was an absolute fail. And then their tight ends. Somebody name me a tight end on the Patriots. Go. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Let's go to... See, I have to say your name like Dante. So, Ante Petrus, the official... Since I sent you this Insta pic of Michael Bennett being interested going back to Seattle, should my Seahawks bring Michael Bennett for one more ride in Seattle and try to win another Super Bowl? Can you bring him back? Sure. Is Michael Bennett going to be the reason why the Seattle Seahawks win the Super Bowl? No, I don't really think that's the type of player that he is anymore. I do think that he's a fun player. I don't know how, um, I don't know how liked he is in that locker room. But if he wants to go back and play for the Seahawks, I think you also have to see what they're going to end up doing with a player like Jadavion Clowney. Let's go to, oh, God. Which, this is either Major League Baseball or middle linebacker, should the Packers get from free agency or the draft? Uh, you got to figure out what you're going to do with Blake Martinez because Blake Martinez, the last three years, over 140 tackles. However, for me, 
He's not a very good cover linebacker, so I actually would want to move on from him. If you're looking for a solid middle linebacker that you can go out and get, I like Joe Schobert a lot. I think he's a pretty solid player. If you want another cover linebacker, Josh Bynes is a player to keep in mind. And then kind of an under-the-radar guy, but you probably know him if you're a Packers fan, Nick uh, Kwiatkowski. He kind of had to fill in a little bit this past year for the Bears. Pretty athletic, and I think he's got a high upside. Let's go to Connor G. I was going to try to pose like that, but that would require me laying down. That wouldn't make any sense. Do you think that the Ravens will sign a wide receiver in free agency? I think they're going to bring back Seth Roberts. I think uh, having John Brown there stretch the field is pretty interesting. But I think the one thing that the Ravens are going to do that a lot of other teams won't do is I think they're going to look for a little bit of a bigger bodied receiver because they don't have one right now. So maybe if A.J. Green somehow does escape, you can go out and look for him. But I think they also want to go out and find a wide receiver that can block. I think a sleeper pick for the Ravens is actually Laquan Treadwell, a former Vikings receiver who was obviously very, very high. Maybe needs a chain of scenery. But one thing that Mike Mayock used to say about Laquan Treadwell, he's the best pass or the best run blocking wide receiver in the draft when he came out. So sleeper there. Let's go to Colby. What up, Colby? NFC East, Bridgewater to the Redskins, Sue to Dallas, Byron Jones to the Giants, Devin Funches to the Eagles. So Devin Funches didn't play last year, got banged up. Could see him going to Philly, big time need. Byron Jones to the Giants. We just released a video on the top destinations for Jones. The Giants, they are on that list. And Dominican Sue to Dallas. Um, if I'm Dallas, I say no because personally for me, he's going to be want to be overpaid. And then Bridgewater, the Redskins, I still think they're going to stick with Dwayne Haskins. But, hey, we've seen uh, we've seen crazier things from the Redskins. So Bridgewater, speaking of him, who's going to sign him? So he thinks that the Redskins are going to sign him. I think differently. Um, and then if you're watching this live, you'll know that we're coming up here in just a little bit. We will do our top projections for quarterbacks like Teddy Bridgewater. But he's been the hard one for me to wrap my mind around. So who will sign Bridgewater? We'll give some shout-outs now to some of the peeps that are watching here on YouTube. I'm seeing the Redskins, even though Jesse says the Redskins want Tua. Interesting. Bridgewater to the Bears from Nicholas. Get a picture, but uh, I like the way you think. And then the Colts, that's an interesting name. Continue to get your votes in. Who will sign Teddy Bridgewater? And now I want you guys to let me know, do you like our live shows here at Chat Sports? Why for yes and for no. Do you want us to do more shows? Why for yes and for no. Because if you do like our live shows, the way that a lot of us, or I should say this, if you want to be featured on more shows like on our Q&As, turn on the notifications and hit the subscribe bell. Wow, subscribe button, notifications bell. Because this is free agency. And this is the time where stuff gets crazy. We did a show just two days ago to hear Whitehead. He got cut on our Raiders channel. And we're going to be doing things the entire offseason. So when Tom Brady decides... When Dak Prescott signs, you need to have the notification bell on so you know when we go live. And if you're subscribed, you're not going to miss anything. So stay in the loop because this is the time of the year to be subbed and have the notification bell on because things in the NFL happen like that. Let's go to Juan. Which free agent will the Cowboys be looking at? I mean, the, technically, I think they're looking at really the free agents that they need to bring back. Like, they got to look at Dak. You got to look at Amari. You got to look at Byron Jones. I think personally... They're going to bring back Dak. They're going to bring back Amari. Then you got to let, you know, um, you got to let Byron walk, unfortunately, for them. Randall Cobb will be interested to see what they do. Like, you could see them bring in other players, but their biggest focus is right now, and it's kind of a bad answer. Dak, Amari, and then you go from there because that's going to be a lot of money. Let's go to Ricardo E. What up, Raider Nation? <sighs> Mitch, what do you think about cutting Tyrell? Signing walk-ins to the Raiders, what do we have to do? So cutting Tyrell Williams doesn't make any sense because we've already paid him for the season. So he's already made $11.1 million for this upcoming year. So if you cut him, you've already paid him. You might as well keep him on the team. And then signing walk-ins is interesting. I do believe that the Chiefs are going to end up cutting him. He's set to make like 14 or it's like 14, 21 million. I'm not sure it's one of the two numbers. Um, but yes, with the Raiders needing outside speed, Sammy Watkins, when he is on that free agent market, is a player to definitely, definitely target. Let's go to Jesus Christ Son. Get a picture. Which free agent do you think that the Panthers will sign? A lot of defense. Like, 
I don't know if there's a certain player that I pinpoint exactly for the Carolina Panthers. However, like, you're losing James Bradbury. Luke Keekley just retired, and I believe they have 11 free agents on defense alone. You want to talk about a defense that's going to totally change? It's going to be the Carolina Panthers. So they need as much defensive help as humanly possible. Let's go to Jesus' second cousin, Jordan Thomas. Both get a pick. Is Eric Berry playing this year? I don't know, man. If Eric Berry is healthy, the answer to that is yes. If Eric Berry is unhealthy and can't pass his uh, physicals, then I'm going to end up saying no. So Eric Berry, I would love to have him here playing in the NFL, but I don't know how likely it is. Now, I don't know if you guys saw this news, but the coronavirus, it's impacting March Madness, and uh, the NCAA is going to hold March Madness without fans in attendance due to the coronavirus. So what does that mean? It means a bunch of y'all are going to be at home, and if you're like me, you're going to be tuning in, you're going to be watching March Madness, and if you want to bet on who's going to win the entire tournament, you can do that at chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code NFL120. It's going to get you 120% deposit bonus. So to join the tournament, if you have a Bet the SI account, it's 100% free. Okay, 100% free. First place gets 10,000. Second place gets 5,000. I believe third place gets 3,000. That's what I believe. But I know if you come in first place, $10,000. Free to sign up. Go get go get started. Bet the SI. Don't let coronavirus even ruin March Madness. And if you're like me, man. I freaking hate this thing, so hang on a sec. Let me get my computer ready. We're typing FCs. A lot of FCs because I am sick and tired of this thing, and I don't think, obviously, it's ever going to go away, but uh, it's really, really starting to ruin things. Like, again, I live here in Dallas. They just canceled the St. Paddy's Day Parade, so now nobody's going to see me repping my Raiders St. Paddy's Day shirt. That saddens me. But I hate the coronavirus. It's ruining March Madness, and I'm hoping... I'm hoping it doesn't impact anything for the NFL draft because here at Chat Sports, we are planning to go out to the NFL draft. And if you're going to be out there in Las Vegas, slide in my DMs at Mitchell Ryan 365 If you're subscribed to the show, you get an invite. Looks like we got a super chat from Zeke. What up, Zeke? What are the odds Dallas gets? Wait, odds Dallas gets Earl Thomas. I would say if we're just putting it on odds. Oh, man. I think you have less than a 10% chance to get Earl Thomas. Like, it, probably even less than that. Less than five. Um, he's not even a free agent. You'd probably have to go out and trade for him. And um, they had their opportunity to do it. Didn't work out. And he obviously went to the Ravens for a reason. And this might hurt Cowboys' feelings. The Ravens are a better football team than Dallas. 8-8, eight 14-12. Eight, Math. Let's go to Shamar. Shamar, uh, who my Giants need in free agency? You need a GM. So if you can find a GM out on the free agent market, you go out and sign him. So Dave Gettleman, if you're watching, fire yourself, go get somebody new. Um, no, I think you got to look at the linebackers. You're also going to see there's going to be some cornerbacks out there. Byron Jones is definitely a name to monitor. You can look at uh, some safeties out there, some top safeties like an Anthony Harris. But uh, for me... I think Dave Gettleman needs to figure out if Evan Ingram can be healthy or not, what you got in your wide receivers, but you really need to build that defense. And for the love of God, don't take any more defensive linemen. Maybe figure out what you got in Leonard Williams. Let's go to the machine. wonder why uh, that's your name. Who do you see the Niners getting in free agency? Kirk Cousins. No. Um, Tom Brady. <laughs> I think that the 49ers are going to bring back Emmanuel Sanders. I think you need to consider what you got to do with your running backs. Like, you got to let Jarek McKinnon obviously go. Tevin Coleman is another tough name to figure out what you're going to do with him. But um, you could see them bring in another wide receiver. I think Marquise Goodwin, he's on his way out. Obviously, you're set with George Kittle. Defense is obviously another pretty big need there for the Niners. So I think you're going to look at some cornerbacks. And also, you got to go there for a wide receiver. I think they should bring back Emmanuel Sanders. One player that I don't think they're going to get, it's Ryan Tannehill. So I want to know from all y'all, who's going to sign Tannehill? Let me know in the comments section. So for those of you that are watching this live on YouTube, live on Facebook, hopefully you got your notifications turned on. Hopefully you're subscribed. If you're not already, click the sub button, or you can take the link below, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. So who will sign Ryan Tannehill? I'm seeing notorious titans from the Popo, Swampasaurus, Jackson Crokin, 
and then Nicholas Casillo all going Titans. And the Ponzik show, he's going to throw his vote in there for the Chargers.